Down at the range today with a budget MagFed semi-auto 30-06, and this is an old-school Remington Woodsmaster Model 740. It holds four rounds in the mag and one in the chamber, so a semi-auto 30-06, and I paid about 200 bucks for this thing online, so we'll see if it's any count. Somebody replaced this sight right here with a peep sight in the rear. The action seems very smooth, and it's a longer action gun. This would make a great deer slayer especially on a budget now when i looked them up on other places they generally sell for about four to five hundred dollars occasionally more depending on the condition but we'll see if this thing even fires for 200 bucks so i've got four rounds of remington core lock loaded up in the mag it's a fairly interesting design again five rounds for a deer slayer seems like it chambers that first round just fine a cross trigger safety literally the first rounds out of this gun here goes nothing. This should be fun. Okay, so it, no recoil, and it left the round stuck in the chamber. So what I'm thinking was, we have a dirty chamber. We may have to clean that out, but let's uh, extract this round and keep on shooting. So we got that round out. Let's see if it cycles, or I may have to head back to the bench and really polish that out. A lot of times these older guns sit, develop a slight amount of corrosion in the chamber. I actually had that happen with a 30-06 BAR. Uh, you clean it out and it fixes it, but let's, let's try this uh, one more time. Okay, kick that one out. Kick that one out and locked back after the last shot. So it looks like we didn't need to clean it. Maybe there was some debris in it from sitting around, but let's load this up and keep shooting. I love it. So I've got some PV Partisan M1 Garand ammo. So it's a little bit weaker, a little bit lower pressures designed to run in the Garand. Now I have a lot of this ammo because I have some older Springfields and different M1 Garand. So I wanna see if it actually cycles in this firearm. So we will see. Chamber's just fine. We'll shoot at some of the steel targets. And shoot the tail light out of the car. Blasted right through it. Man, functions great. Locks back. And there's almost like no recoil. This is turning into like a really, really awesome budget gun. It's an interesting thing to uh, drop that bolt home. You'll see this slide lever on the magazine. What that does is actually drop the magazine down and it allows it to go home. So such a cool little 30-06 plinker. This thing is awesome. Every once in a while, you take a chance on something, and I took a chance on the 740 Woodsmaster made by Remington. This is an old school semi auto mag fed gun, and I can recommend it. Man, if you can get one for cheap, I love it. I love the feel of it. I love the balance of it. I love the recoil of it. The last time I took a bolt action 30 odd six, I was running some body armor tests with it and I just got tired of shooting it after about 10 or 20 rounds. It doesn't feel great on your shoulder, no break or anything like that. Well, this one doesn't have a break either. And really it's a pretty slick setup with iron sights. Now this one does have the peep sight on the rear and it makes it so nice. I mean, I was at it about 75 yards. I even took a shot a little bit earlier that I didn't film, probably right at about 80, 90 yards at a silhouette. No problem. A great deer getter with no scope. Just a great like brush rifle, truck gun. I mean, five rounds of 30-06 and a semi-auto platform is nothing to laugh at. Now, I've read some things, um, mixed reviews on the reliability. Mine was 100% reliable after that first shot. I wanted to bring you guys along for the ride. And that's to be expected when a rifle sits. I mean, this could have sat for 20 years in a safe before somebody decided to sell it. I love the action. I love the way it works. I love the little intricacies of this rifle, and I'm going to be doing a lot more shooting with it for body armor testing. It's much easier for me to grab this and just dump rounds through it, especially black tip AP and a few other rounds. It allows me to just continue to just do more reviews and body armor testing with a cool little platform, and I just wanted to try it. I wanted to see if a budget semi-auto 30-06 would work, 
and this thing is freaking awesome. I love it. I hope you guys like it too. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, definitely do so. We do a lot of testing, evaluations, reviews, uh, and occasionally we'll do a pawn shop or an internet find like this, and it turns out pretty darn awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.